Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video we're essentially continuing right where we left off. In the last video we just added knockback to the player, so when you shoot a player they'll sort of get knocked back. Um, and I think that worked quite well, and we even used an animation curve to be able to adjust it properly. And I'm thinking in this video we'll just add, I think let's play some simple particles from the gun when we do shoot. Um, we can even opt to play a little, uh, I guess, shooting animation if we really want to go a bit more in depth with it. Um, but I guess let's just start with just the particles. I think that's a, that's an easy first step. So my not a gun here, I'm just going to go in and let's make some particles and I'm just going to speed through this really quickly. Okay, and now we go here and have some particles that I think look fine for the purpose. Um, and now let's uh, just plop them straight into the player shooter setup, really. So here I'm just going to do a serialized field, private, and let's do a particle system. And this will just be the, I guess, muscle slash particles, whatever. Something like that. Um, and the way that we want to do them here is we want to use the predicted events. Now, the thing with prediction is when you move from the simulation to the view, there's a couple of ways to do that. Of course, we can use the update view. But the thing is, right now, we obviously want to know like when it happens you know, directly. And the best way to do that is using the predicted events. They can help us very easily move from simulation uh, to the actual game. So now with our on-shoot event, let's first of all get it subscribed to something. So let's go into a later wake, where we need to first of all populate the event. So we need to make a new predicted event and we need to give it the prediction manager and the identity that, that it refers to which is the identity that we're on here um, and then of course you can just wherever you want for for example in, on destroy um, is where you can unsubscribe again so let's make the subscription so let's do on shoot dot add listener and this will be on shoot events I guess we can call it and let's take that put it down here and this will be remove listener instead and now let's have it also populate the method, which is just a method that calls on shoot events. And I'll just put that down here at the bottom. And I can now make it do the muscle flash dot which dot play. And that's really about it. All we need to do now is of course call the event somewhere, which we can just do in the very beginning of shoot. We can just do on shoot question mark invoke. And that should be about it. Now let's not forget to actually populate it. Uh, so here where we have muscle flash, I'm just going to populate that with the particle system and let's go ahead and hit play. And now when I click, you can see muscle flash has come out. Oh, and of course it's set to loop right now because I'm a goofball. There we go. Stop the looping. And let's also just have a look at the clone here. And as you can see also when he shoots, you can see they can both see it on their screen. And yeah, that seems to work. And of course we can always make sure that the other one, oh, I guess it's a little difficult. I can... Uh, Plop that over here so we can see them. There we go. Yeah, and there we go. As you can see, that works. Well, so now we have a muscle flash. Now, i got to be honest with you. I don't really want to go too in-depth with making it look good. I feel like that's more on you than it is on me. So, you know, of course, if you want to do, I guess, an animation where the gun, you know, recoils or whatever, you can just make that animation, and now you can just call that from inside the on-shoot event. Or, again, keep in mind that anything can really listen to this event now, so you could make it public and have other things listen to it too. There's nothing wrong with that. And it essentially handles the simulation to view logic for you. So that way you don't have to worry too much about visuals that happen sort of on an event basis. Something like this is great for, you know, audio and various levels of animations and stuff like that. Um, cool. So now we have a little muscle flash. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's about it for this video. I hope, I hope it's helpful and can help you, you know, of course, handle your visuals or audio uh, needs for this kind of game. And yeah, other than that, I just hope that you have a wonderful day.